Hello and welcome. I am Saroz, an intern doctor at Institute of Medicine, Kathmandu. Today I will discuss about how to study medicine and how I studied it during my final year MBBS. First of all, let's talk about the books, notes, apps and other resources. We all know there are two main books, that is Davidson's and Harrison's. Harrison's is a huge book, which is a lot more time and patience, while Davidson is a concise yet complete book. Davidson is a one-stop book, I must say. I use Davidson as main textbook. Trust me, it's enough, at least for exams. I'm telling you this also because the questions asked these days are approach-based, so you need to be jack of all topics and master a few very, very important topics. And you can always go to Harrison's for some parts that is not very well written in Davidson's, like I did, which includes approach to common symptoms like fever, cough, jaundice, etc. Few topics that you must study from Harrison's are neuropathy, stroke, but yes, if you have time and you think you should give Harrison's a touch, it's all up to you. But I did not do so. I would suggest you to go through all the tables, pictures and flowcharts of the topics that you are reading because it will help you retain the information for a longer period of time. So question comes, how to begin? Have a look at your syllabus first. Then it depends whether you make notes or not. If you can make notes, that's awesome. Do make it. It will help a lot. But I am not a person who enjoys making notes because I used to copy whole book as my note, which is again a waste. But I really enjoy studying from notes. So what I did was I bought a review book. Don't think that only poor students study these review books. Almost everyone read it, including myself, because it gives you idea about how to put your knowledge into papers, as sometimes you might get lost on what to write. It includes past questions and topics that are repeatedly asked in exams. But yes, do not rely completely on them. So what I did was I started adding on important points to the review book while I was reading Davidson's so that I have a complete note from review book where I would not miss important topics as it includes syllabus and I have important points from my book as well. After that, I just went through that review book again and again. And for topics which were not there in review book but in syllabus and important, I made separate note on those topics. In this way, I had notes of all topics that were in the syllabus. Look, you can study whatever you like, but make sure you know all the basic things first. Jumping from one book to another does not help, unless you have control of your basics. That's the main reason I was holding on to Davidson's. Use highlighters, flashcards, discussion with your friends, classroom slides or anything, but make sure basic things don't miss out. There are two additional books which I would like to recommend. First one is Cardiology and Critical Care by Professor Arun Sayami as it will help you grasp cardiology better than your textbook. And the next book is an ECG book. There are two main ECG books that I recommend. First being the only EKG book you will ever need by Malcolm Thaler and another book is ECG Made Easy by Hampton. I read Hampton's book and yes, also was a video by Dr. Najib on basics of ECG other resources that I used were free videos by PrepLadder and Marrow. You can download their apps and watch free videos. They are helpful. Najib videos can be useful for some topics. Do not watch everything. It takes much time, which you don't have. Some of my friends use USMLE Step 2 books as well. Let's talk about something that are additional but not optional. Yes, I am talking about most recent guidelines that you should know. There are some national guidelines like that of malaria, kalaza, dengue, tuberculosis, HIV AIDS and some international guidelines like that of hypertension, diabetes and dyslipidemia management. You should know the management protocol and recommendation of these guidelines. Recently, UpToDate is being used by many medical students. It's free for Nepal and you just have to fill in a form for it. It provides you the most recent management guidelines. I use it a lot, but it's not an absolute necessity. Even if you don't have up to date, you can just discuss with your friends who use it. That will be better. And guys, don't miss about COVID. It's 99% sure question you will be tested this year. So that's it from my side for now. If there is something I missed out or you are not clear about or you have any queries, you can put in comments below. I'll make sure to help you. Till then, take care, stay safe and help others. Thank you. If this video helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for such new videos.